Okay, we're dropping the bomb in. Oh, but you, you can see, see it bubbling. Bubbling and things coming out, and there it goes. Opens Ooh. up. Okay, I'm gonna try mine. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. So good. Mm. Way better than the packet, just saying. <laughs> Welcome back to Piece of Cake. I'm Sarah. I'm Brooke. And today we are making hot chocolate bombs. So we're super excited about this. Mm -hmm. We started making them last winter yeah, when it was like a TikTok trend. <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to show you guys how to do it. And it has all of our favorite ingredients. So the most important one here is chocolate. Yes. So that's what we're going to start with today. So you want to just melt a bunch of chocolate. This recipe does not have exact measurements yeah. at all. So melt what you think that you'll need. And we got these off of Amazon, right? Yeah. Very yeah. cheap. Um, so that was great. And you can use any molds that you have to do these hot chocolate bombs. So let's do it. Okay, so this here is just melted chocolate. <laughs> so what you're going to do is just coat your mold. Very simple. Very thin, right? Like not too thin. So not too thin. And the thing is that you should remember is that you will not be seeing the inside of these. So however it looks, oh, if it looks true. a little messy, that's totally fine. Um, you want it thick enough at the top where they're not gonna just crack when you're trying to take them out. And this recipe is good because you can use all your favorite ingredients and all your favorite substitutes. Oh yeah. It's a very like accommodating recipe, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can use any chocolate that's safe for you um, and just melt it and put it right in here. So you wanna make sure that you have an even number of halves that you're doing because then they will be forming full spheres or whatever shape you're making. A little hot chocolate bun. And make sure that none of the color shows through. So you don't want to see any purple. Oh, because then <laughs> there will be holes. Okay, we don't want a leaky hot chocolate bar. No, we do not. How long would you say that you make Rachel chocolate for? I think about a minute, but you want to stir it after probably every 15 seconds so you can make sure that none of it burns. Chocolate's really easy to burn. So again, it can be messy inside, but you definitely want to make sure it's not too thick because then it will be a little bit harder for it to melt. All right, so we covered these with chocolate. As you can see, maybe not so perfect, but that doesn't matter because yeah. of the inside. We tried to cover every spot so there wasn't any purple showing through with the little circles. Exactly, and you want to make sure that the edges at the top are a little thicker just so that it's easier when you pop them out and they stay in one piece. We're gonna double check these and then pop them in the fridge probably for about 20 minutes and we'll see you soon. Yeah, we're gonna assemble them when we get back. Welcome back. We have our hot chocolate nice and hardened over here. Our hot chocolate. Our cold oh, chocolate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Bombs. There we go. So now we're going to pop them out. So you wanna do this very slowly ah, sorry. and carefully because you don't want it to break. So I start by pulling away <laughs> The edges just a little bit. See? Oh, good job. <laughs> and I start by going fast. Yeah. Look at that. One of us is it's more like, nervous than the other. It's a little melty. Yours is melty? Not like melty, like the top edges. Mm -hmm. Like when Put I that touch on the plate. And okay. For now. So what we're going to do is take one of these to be the bottom. I'm doing one more. <laughs> you didn't like your one with the I hole? I didn't like the one with the hole. All right, we'll put that over there for now. Um, so you want one of these to be the bottom. So what we're going to do is take some either hot chocolate powder or just cocoa powder, and we're going to spoon some of that okay. into what we designate as the bottom. Like a heaping tablespoon? No, yeah. less. We have a pretty thick thing, so could be one. Hey, about there it. you go. Well, also, that's all chocolate. That's gonna be melting into Oh yeah, so it's popcorn. totally fine. You're not missing out. Wow, so there we good. go. And then a couple marshmallows, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so fun. There we go. I've seen online that like, people will use these in goodie bags too. So cute. Yeah, they're perfect like winter party goodie bag. Choice. Winter party. Yes. Oh, all right. Did I do this wrong? You so, do it all in the same half. All in the same half. There you go. All in the bottom half, right? And then you need some melted chocolate, which we have here. <laughs> and we're going to put these two halves together. So now you're going to take the top half and kind of use it like glue. Again, doesn't need to be perfect. It just has to be tasty. Yeah. So, oh, very then you cool. take that and you stick it right on top. Oh my gosh, you have a whole little hot chocolate and on there. Smooth the sides a little bit, and here we go. You've got a it. nice little hot chocolate bomb. So then do we just put that back in the fridge to cool off? So or do not. It I'm gonna clean my fingers a little. Okay, and then you guys can watch me struggle. <laughs> it's perfect here. It does not need to go back in the fridge. It is ready to eat. 
So this doesn't need to be too careful. Don't okay. worry too much. <laughs> there you go. Stick that on top. Oh my gosh. And you so have a hot exciting. chocolate bomb. So now what we're going to I'm do so <laughs> is eat them. <laughs> so we do a mix of hot water and a little bit of milk or milk substitute. I'll be using regular milk and I will be using chocolate oat milk. <laughs> so just a very little bit to pretty much just cover the bottom of the cup okay. um, or it's like really to your liking. So this isn't an exact science. And then you wanna make sure that you have boiling water, which we have right here. So we just boil that and it's ready to go. So we're gonna pour the water in. We're gonna do this one by one so we can give you all different views okay. so of us doing this. All right, so we gotta pour that hot water in first. And then do I drop my little bomb in? And then we, we drop the bomb. Okay. All right, so here's my water. The chocolate oat milk. Hot, grab an adult or responsible person. Yes, that. steaming. You wow, look at that. And I use chocolate oat milk, so it already right. looks chocolate. And then, here we go. Okay, we're dropping the bomb in. Ooh. Oh, but you, you can see, see it bubbling. Bubbling and things coming out, and there it goes. Opens Ooh. up. Oh How my fun God, is the that? Is. I love the way that they just like pop up. And then you definitely want to mix it up so that all of the chocolate from the chocolate bomb part, the outside, oh melt gosh, nicely me. in there. Something else that Brooke has done before is actually put it in coffee. So yes, it's really good that's coffee. Good too. You can use coffee instead of water. Oh my god! You can use anything. It just needs to be hot enough to melt it. You can probably even use instant coffee instead of hot chocolate. Yeah, definitely. All right, ready for mine? Yes, I'm ready. All right, boiling water first. I already have some milk in there. And again, that's all to your liking. If you want to do all milk or all water, we've done it all different ways. So anything really works. Here we go. You'll see so the chocolate more. Yeah, in you're gonna see a lot more. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'll drop that Three, in. Three, two, one. It looks like a bath bomb. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Hot chocolate bath bomb. I don't recommend using this in the bath bomb. Oh, look at that. There it goes. And now Sarah starts to mix that. Oh, yeah. And then you can always oh add gosh, in extra some more marshmallows. marshmallows. Keep mixing. Oh, yeah. Okay, that looks so good. That is perfect hot chocolate right there. Look at that. You can always look at the spoon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try mine. Yeah. Ooh, it's really hot. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna like slurp it because it's so hot. <laughs> Off the spoon. Oh my god, it's so good. So good. Mm. Way better than the packet, just saying. <laughs> it's so good. It's really good. <laughs> well, we want to see your ideas, so if you come up with different things to put in your hot chocolate yep. bomb, definitely let us know. Mm -hmm. Hope that this keeps you warm on a cold fall day. <laughs> we'll or winter. See you soon. <laughs>